In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create submenus. So these guys right here, and specifically, we'll use ones to uh, to set the color um, of our second activity um, to, to one of a, of either red, green, or blue. All right. So the first thing uh, to mention here that a submenu is simply just a, a menu that shows up inside another item, and really no more, no less. Right. So very, very easy to specify in in XML. Um, while we're at it, we should differentiate that from a, a menu group. And a group um, is essentially a collection of items, right? as we can see right here. So, so we have this, this group that has a couple items in it here. Um, and it's, it's not really inside an item. You'll see that this guy, this item right here, finishes before the other one starts. Um, but um, groups are, are used uh, for the purpose of, of gathering things and, and for the purpose of, of setting properties on them, right? So maybe you want to say that, that like radio buttons, that, that only one of them can be clicked, right? Or maybe you want multiple ones to, to, um, to be able to be clicked and you want to save which ones have been clicked and so on. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at, um, at that as well. Um, it turns out that, that we can actually use the, the two of them hand in hand. Uh, so to let the, the user um, select the color here, um, inside our color item, we're going to make a, a, a submenu. So inside this item, create a submenu, and inside that, create a group with three items inside it. All right? Their IDs simply are just going to be red, green, and blue, and the group itself, we're going to say that we can only uh, check one of the, the three items right here. Okay, so it turns out that this is pretty easy to do um, visually. So let's 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 go do that. Uh, so inside my my menu here. Um, the main thing to remember is that if I want to put something inside another one uh, here, I'm going to click it, select it first, and then hit add. And the only thing that I can put inside a, a, an item is a submenu. So I'll click that guy, click on the submenu, add. I could either I add items directly or I could add a group. So I'm going to make a group. And then inside this group, I can add various items, right? And so on. So this first one right here is, is going to be red. If I want to set some, some properties on these guys, um, nothing to do on the submenu. Um, group one here, um, not even gonna, don't really even care about its ID. Uh, checkable behavior, I could say single if I wanted to. Um, of course, it's going to be visible. It's going to be enabled. Uh, that's that's all fine. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, so these guys um, are going to get titles. So the red one is going to have a uh, so menu red background right right there i'm not going to worry about the condensed title quite yet um, the icon i'll set from from the xml so let's go in here and i see that it created a menu inside my item with a group inside that with checkable behavior uh, i'm going to take this item uh, make a couple copies of it sort of reformat it here and we'll make one so red green in blue. Okay, um, and and the XML is done. Uh, there's reference here if if, um, if you want it with the XML. Uh, the next thing is listening to them. Um, I, you know, I'm going to listen to them just like any other thing. All right, so just you know, I can check the IDs. To see if it's if it's one of the ones that that I clicked here, one of these three colors, um, I could even make an intent here, and then depending on which um, of those three that they that they set, I can set a color to be one of of these three things, and then I can can put an extra in there and fire off the activity. Okay, so main activity, right? So um, I was checking for color before. Uh, it turns out that that if I also checked for color here and launched an intent uh, that it would be a problem, right? So it would launch an intent and at the same time it would be trying to open up a submenu. So it never really let me see the submenus. Um, so I'm, I'm not even going to bother checking for color anymore. There's nothing I need to do. Uh, the real thing that I need to check for is if it was one of these red, green, or blue. So uh, r.id.green or um, ID equals r dot ID dot blue, and now you see why I didn't use a, a, a switch statement on this guy when we started. Uh, okay, 
So I'm still going to make a color intent on all of them. Uh, but what am I going to do? So here I could actually, I could switch off them if, if I wanted to. Switch off the ID. And if it is red, then I can set a, a color here. And um, I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut here since I'm just using red, green, and blue sort of classic ones. Um, I'm just going to use the constants that exist for those. All right, so these this color here is just an integer. So the color, and I'm going to give it a default of black if I don't tell it anything else. Um, let's see, so grab that first one uh, and break. And then I can do the same thing for green and blue. So if it's green, then use green. And if it was the blue one, then uh, so select blue. Okay, and once I've done that, I actually want to pass it on over, right? These are just integers. So I'm going to pass it over to the other side. Uh, so I'm going to take this color intent and I'm going to put an extra. And extras, as you remember, require a key. So this might be a, a key for the background color. Um, and its value is just going to be color. And let's go ahead and make a um, make a constant for this. So create a constant called key background color. And I'm going up top. Uh, not private because I need to know about it on the other side. Static final string key background color. And I'll I'll give it for a value. I'll give it the same thing here. Key background color. All right, so I've sent uh, I've sent the extra over to the other side. Do you remember what to do on the other side? What you're gonna What you're gonna do with that integer? How are you gonna get it even? All right, let's go ahead and do that. So over here, uh, remember I take an intent, call it what you want, uh, get intent, and then uh, color is gonna be data dot get int extra and the name is going to be that same key there so main activity dot key background color default value uh, maybe I want to use black here again and then I want to set the the layouts color okay so let's see color activity um, what do we have inside it so let's let's take a look this is uh, activity color okay so we have uh, um, r dot layout dot activity color so let's let's look at that layout activity color and this guy is a frame layout and it has an ID called container so I want to I want to capture the frame layout and then set its um, set a set a background color. All right, so let's say, let's do that. So frame layout layout equals uh, let's capture it. So we're going to cast our frame layout. Find view by ID r dot ID dot container and then I'll say layout dot set background and if I look at set background um, for the container it's only allowing me to pass in a drawable but there is a set background color here that I can pass in so that's the one I'm going to use uh, and we'll just pass in that that very color and we'll run it okay I've launched my emulator let's go ahead and click and see how we did um, so it's giving me the options here um, that set clickable in our group for single is what brought up the actual little um, the little radio buttons right here so let's say we choose red and when it launches the other intent um, it's, it's going to come up as red I'll go back and try a different one um, maybe I'll check blue here there we go it seems to work um, you can check the third one if you want very good we'll see you next time